Alexander gave his old friend Rios command of the Thessalian cavalry and appointed Antigonus the One-Eyed as governor of Anatolia. There was no better candidate. Antigonus, being built like the shit brick house he was, would go on to put down several rebellions with nothing but his massive phallus and a handful of garrison troops, even conquering new territories in Alexander's name, absolutely mogging any rebel he faced. When he wasn't busy crushing a rebellion or conquering some city, Antigonus sent Alexander every spare soldier he could, just to increase the difficulty level for his own amusement. We'll revisit this great big man later, but now we must return to our main storyline. Marching to Gordium, what occurs next is one of those great feats in history which reverberate throughout the ages. You see, the ancient King Midas had dedicated this autistically complicated knot to the Sky Father forever ago. Priests since time immemorial declared that whoever could undo the knot would rule all of Asia. Alexander took one look at the damn thing and sliced it in half with his sword. The stunned observers were then greeted with a lightning storm as Zeus himself thundered down his approval for his true son. If any of you still doubt that Alexander is literally a god, there will be plenty more signs as this narrative continues. At this moment, something in Memnon flared. He was the man of destiny, not Alexander. He would put an end to this pitiful expedition once and for all, and he would be the warlord of all Greece, and not even a so-called god king could stop him. Memnon unleashed the full might of the Persian navy, striking Alexander's supply lines and threatening to strand the entire coalition deep in Persian territory. After rapidly conquering many Aegean islands, he then convinced the Spartans and tempted the boy-lover Athenians with twinks, insisting that they revolt to restore the shitty glory days of their backwater city-states. Leading the Athenians was none other than, guess who? Demosthenes, to the surprise of fucking no one. It looked like Memnon would derail the entire Persian campaign, but the gods finally took notice. They could not have their embodiment on Earth be challenged by some shekel-chasing Greek traitor. Thus, they smited the Greek for his defiance of Alexander's divine spirit, throwing the entire offensive into disarray. Now, Alexander would rely on his subordinates to mop up the leaderless Persian navy, for an even greater threat would soon arrive from the east. The King of Kings Darius himself had not been idle, and the horde he was summoning would be greater than anything Alexander or his men had ever seen. <laughs>